Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today we're going to talk about power. Power in your stroke, power in your break, your draw, your follow, your force follow, even your stop shot, all involve power. Now why is this video called Real Power? I saw someone talking about power in pool and actually describing a thin cut as power. That's simply ridiculous. A thin cut, the cue ball is moving quickly because of the lack of friction, a lack of contact. That's like describing a car as being powerful because it's moving fast as it falls off of a building. When we talk about power, real power is the power you generate on your force follow shot, your draw shot, your break shot, and actually your long stop shot involves a power stroke. So today we're gonna to talk about how to generate power in every shot in your pool game. So let's get going. The number one ingredient of power and pull, whether it's shooting an eight foot draw shot, a force follow shot, a draw shot with English, the number one ingredient is going to be your stroke. And the ingredients to a good stroke are good fundamentals. A level cue, good follow through, committing to the shot, timing, and when we talk about timing, we're talking about the speed with which your cue is passing through the cue ball. Don't have a jerky, hesitant stroke. On your break, if your cue is not down on the table at the end of the break, there is a very good chance that you left something behind. It means that you did not follow through properly. The number one mistake that players make, amateur players make when breaking, is throwing their cues up in the air. Even the unlimited number of bad pool movies that you might see, because there's only been three good ones. There's players throwing their cues up in the air when they break as if that's the way we break in pool. If your tip is not down on your draw shot, if your cue is not level on your follow shot, if your cue tip is not down on your break shot, there's a very good chance that you left two, three, maybe four or five miles per hour behind. Have your cue moving at a consistent speed as you pass through the cue ball with the cue tip. Another factor that comes into play when it comes to power is your contact point on the cue ball. I've said it a thousand times. Most amateur players have no idea where they are actually hitting the cue ball. Let me repeat that. They have no idea where they are actually hitting the cue ball. This is why the IQ ball, the IQUE, is one of the best training methods I've found. There's only two, maybe three, training devices that I recommend. The IQ ball is one of them because it shows you where you are actually hitting the cue ball versus where you think you're hitting the cue ball. You see it from an angle that is not necessarily true. And in many cases, the tip of your cue is moving way too rapidly for it to register to you where you're actually hitting the ball. So let's put it all together. Generate power with a good solid stance, good follow through on your stroke, keeping your cue down and level with the stroke committing to the shot and keeping your timing consistent as you pass through the cue ball. These are the things that generate power. And to put all these things together, you need to put in reps. But you knew I was gonna say that. Hey gang, it's MJ with FX Billiards. If you're ready to elevate your eight ball skills, our new masterclass series is designed just for you. This comprehensive program includes more than 20 detailed videos covering everything from precision pattern play and drills to mastering safeties and developing a powerful eight ball break. We even delve into the mental strategies that can transform your game. Interested? Visit us online today for more details and to enroll in FX Billiards 8-Ball Series at our low introductory price.